Traveling by the power of the wind and catching your dinner along the way are two of the best parts about sailing. It's fair to say that Beef had excelled as the sole hunter-gatherer of the Don Quixote crew. So far, during our time in the Bahamas, we'd feasted on mutton snapper, Nassau groper, crayfish, and conch. But there was one fish he'd been chasing. Finally, as we were underway from Staniel Key to Georgetown, he got a hit. something real big. That's what happens when you put your headphones on and they're noise cancelling and then the rod peels with a massive fish and you can't even want it in because it's about a million kilos. <laughs> and it's peeled off so much line. It's huge! <laughs> My arms are dead and it's going to take me another probably 10 minutes to get it in. Come on! Film out there. I reckon it's going to jump. It's probably a big mahi. There he is. Look at oh, this guy. Oh, he's beautiful. Hi, buddy. He's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. There he goes. Yes, look at the color of him. Look at this fella. Wow. A oh my gosh, he's huge. He's a personal best for sure. Oh. He's heavy, that's a Thank that's you, Mahi. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you, wow. Neptune. That's as good as it gets right there. Look at this guy. Oh my God, he's ginormous. He is absolutely beautiful. He's stunning. We arrived in beautiful Georgetown, the last major stop in the southern Exumas, and we were just in time to catch a glimpse of the classic Bahamian sloops in the annual Georgetown regatta. All the old school Bahamian sloops, which is so cool, it's, I can see it in the distance. We feasted on fish and wine for days and ticked some big to-dos off our job list. The highlight for sure was meeting and feeding some friendly locals and finally addressing Beef's unorthodox way of cracking a conch. You guys want to see beef feeds and stingrays? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, oh. we're not very good at it. Me? Yeah, no, no we're not good. Oh, you're not good. We end up having to use a hammer and it looks so simple. Yeah, it's very simple. <laughs> so we had a bit of luck. We found, managed to find a little conch. This is a Bahamian staple of the diet. It's called a conch. And that's him in there. Yeah, they're pretty hard to get out. I've only done it once and I um, had a shocker, but I think I've got the technique now. Tell you what, takes a bit of walloping to get in there, give that a good, good chopper rooney, and then I should be able to grab him from this side, I think, somehow, or he should just push out or something. Usually, I, by cutting into it, I should have released the muscles. He should just uncoil and come out, but nope, still no sign of him. If you've got claustrophobic fingers, probably not the best activity you could do. It's pretty tight in there and it's rock hard. If in doubt, smash it out. So I finally got him. I've pulled him out the wrong way. I've pulled him out ass first. And that's him. 
What you do is one, two, three right here. Yeah. One, two, three right here. No. Okay. Knock, 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 there. Open the door. It's me, Hammer. <laughs> so what I do is, um, so the tongue is the muscle is attached around here. So what you do is that basically. Cut the muscle. Cut the muscle. Right like no way. No way. That's like a magic trick. It's amazing what you can learn when you when you see the locals do it properly. Yeah. Okay, you go from the bottom. Yeah. One, two, three, right here in the middle. So the conch is attached to this right yeah. around there. Yeah. I thought it was basically just one, two, and no, it's, it's right there. there. Just this is where the muscle is attached. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Bingo. You don't even have to go on it, then you, you use the knife to go through. You don't put the knife up on an angle like this, no. you just go down and just give it a little two cuts. And then how do you get your finger in to get that rest no, of it? No, just, just pull it out. Go, go give it a try. Do they bite? No, they don't have No it. way. You can put, go ahead and pull the next one out too. I've never seen it that easy. See, when this I do it, cooler than they, the curl up, they curl <laughs> up inside and yeah. you, can't, you can't get them out. Well, which way you do it? Oh, oh, I just hammer, like, screwdriver. <laughs> no, I just basically uh, hammer, 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 hammer all around here, and then take this thing out, and then, or oh, actually a hammer, and then put the knife in there everywhere. Oh, you go too high and you jerk the meat. Uh, if you see it tuck up, that muscle is still, still holding on. It's still holding on. How do you like eating your conch the best? I love fried food, so I love crack conch. I like fried so food too. Good. Crack conch. <laughs> this is conch opening training. Conch crack training. Oh. Yeah. So it's basically there, right? Right, right there. Right there. Oh, look at this carpenter go. I am actually a carpenter, believe it or not. And then you go down. So which, all right, so the best way for you to do it, so you see how you stand like that? Yeah. So you, you can hold it like this. Yeah. So you can do it like this. Yes. Wedge it out that yeah. way. Good form in the rest. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't it's in the rest. It's in the rest, babe. Like that. Yeah, so, right, so, 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 see what you're doing? All right, so let me show you. So, you see this part right here? You see that white part right there? Like push it up. Yeah, that's So, what bit. you do is you can put the knife under Underneath it and pluck it up. Le or attach like it from the shelf. Lever it. You got it. Lever, baby. Lever. Yeah, that, that's it right there. Bingo. And that's it. Try pulling it out. There you go. No, nah, he's still so, in there. So if you don't reach it, you can use the knife. Oh, no, no, I got him. He's hanging on a little bit, but... Try again. Take two. <laughs> you could do this. You could do training for, for right. tourists. Come with me, buddy. You're getting it. You're getting it. Here we go. He's coming with me. He's still holding on, but so, I've got so him. A little piece of it is attached. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Spray with conch. Spray. How old were you when you cracked your first conch? I probably was like eight years old. Wow, that old? Yeah. <laughs> this right here, we go, this goes to the stingray. Do they feed out of your hand? So what you do is like, you ever feed a horse before? Yeah, like this. So what you do is you put it between the two Jan is good at feeding the horse. Keep your hands flat. Perfect. So keep your fingers tucked in. So make sure your hands touch the bottom of the sand because the motor is flat underneath. Yeah. And it's going to come right up and suck it right up here like a vacuum. Okay. I'm so scared. No, you're going to be good. You're going to be okay. Thanks, brother. Yes, sir. You're welcome. You're the man. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Life Thank skills. You. Look, he's, he knows. He knows he's getting fed. Oh. I haven't got it, buddy. He died. Yeah, we're <laughs> I reckon. Oh, no, I don't want oh, to he's coming to this. Rubbing on my fingers, it was, it was a bit scary. I think I, I think I did a little poo in my pants. <laughs> Glad we did that. Hey, don't get any
You gotta make it. That's where we're going. Blueprint VR, 345 miles that way. Set your compass. It's like more, more than twice what we've done in half the amount of time. Georgetown. Our time here is coming to a bit of a close. The end of a chapter for us. We've got to Georgetown, southern part of the Exumas, and Georgetown's known as Chicken Harbor, for better or for worse. A lot of boats don't go past here. They turn around and go back to Florida or back to the continental US. Where we're going now is pretty much considered the thorny path. So we're going to windward, so we're gonna be, it's not gonna be necessarily nice and comfortable sailing, um, but we're gonna pick our weather windows to try and get us across as easily as possible to Turks and Caicos. Through the Southeast Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and then down to Dominican Republic. Big deal for us, actually. We don't even have any um, cruising guides or charts for beyond Turks and Caicos because we weren't planning to come this far this year. We thought we'd turn around and go back to the US, back to Florida for hurricane season, but we've decided we don't really want to backtrack. We want to keep on keep on keeping on and beef has got his eye on Puerto Rico next year or when we come back in November for the cruising season he wants to do a lot of surfing. The next leg, the thorny path, Southeast Bahamas, Turks and Caicos to Dominican Republic. It's happening. Ah! If you like this video give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching.